Hi everyone, today we're going to look at implementing the Omron CX server DDE and using Excel to show the information that we gather. Now the first thing to do is to start the CX server DDE manager and what you'll see is it will put an icon or put a program minimized at the bottom of your taskbar. You right click it, go to project, then new, and you'll see that you open it up and we're just going to call this uh, test. Hit save. And then what we want to do is we want to again right click on CX Server DD Manager and then we will uh, open up test. And once again, right click on the project and then we can go to edit. Here we can show the devices. Um, and we also have, uh, we can add a new device. And what we'll add is a CP1L. And the settings is going to be a, a USB. We'll hit OK. Then we'll see this new PLC1 come up with the device CP1L. We'll now go to points, add point. This is the logical, so we can name it. Then we go to physical, we add the new PLC1. Our data will be at DM0. And we're going to put it as a, a single word unsigned BCD. And we'll hit apply. Hit OK. And what you'll see is the point comes back. And that symbol just before the new point, those four dots represent that BCD code. So next we'll call up Office Excel. This is version uh, 2007. And this is where we're going to uh, put the link for that point. So we copy that point. And then we go to the Excel worksheet. And what we will do is we will paste that point in. And what you can see is that number that's changing now represents what's in the PLC. The update interval is set for one seconds. Again, if you go to the CX server DD manager and left click it, you'll see the update time. Okay, we'll close that off. And what we'll do is open our existing uh, project. And this one has all of the, we have two PLCs, CP, uh, or the CP1L, as well as the CQM1H. So there's my two controllers. And I have 20 points. So I read the first 10 data memory of each of these units. And what we'll do is compare these two. So I'll highlight the first 10 and copy the DD link. Again call up my Excel spreadsheet and paste them. And what you'll see is those first 10 DM automatically start updating. And you will notice on the left hand side, um, there's a caution sign with a bolt asterisk bolt on it. That means that it's updating. It's being used. Okay. And there's my second set of data, data memory that are being monitored. So you see this is very straight, straightforward and it's easy to implement. And I'm not doing a whole lot of code back and forth. So what we'll do now is we'll call up Excel again uh, to a predetermined
uh, spreadsheet I had listed. And I do, and you have to enable the content because of the links. And what you'll notice is that under the CP1L, there's my 10 data links. Under the CQM1H, there's my 10. And what I've done is put a, a chart on there and comparing both the DMs of each of the controllers on the screen. And so dynamically, they're being updated all the time. So you can see it's very easy to implement this CX server. And there's more information on our website at www.accautomation.ca. Thanks for watching.